you know, there's all those descriptions of, uh, well, basically highly trained musicians who never listen, or I don't know how he says it exactly, but, you know, the idea that, and it is possible, isn't it, to, to, to play a, a very skillful performance of, you know, certain canonic uh, classical pieces without really being present. Uh, yeah, it's it's playing the record. Yeah, and, and I mean, uh, sadly, we do hear that. So uh, this music kind of really challenges that. Yeah, uh, and I think it also. I mean, uh, that's the word. Is it is it in is it in the Juilliard lecture or someplace like that where he he says, uh, uh, you know, we go to Carnegie Hall and and we we say, oh, I heard Beethoven, <laughs> and the, and then he says, but of course that's impossible. We heard sound. Yeah, uh, and or we might go and. Uh, you know, we, we, we get confused. I mean, and, and, yeah. You know, we, we make all these confusions. We say, oh, that music is sad. Well, there's so many, so many ideas that, that, that this guy developed, this, this idea that, that starting with any sound could be part of music. Yeah. Then, I mean, what he did with the, the percussion ensemble to bring in objects off the street. I mean, yeah. like almost along the lines of what Duchamp did with the ready-made to, yeah. to sign the broom and to sign the urinal. And then to say not only any object, any sound can be part of music, but also that means, if we take it seriously, that any silence can be part of music. 